outcome of the 2023 presidential election is still being disputed, but not by all parties involved. The national chairman of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, Shogabam, said the party will not challenge the outcome in court. Gabam said the party stands by the laws that established the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and acknowledged that it is the only institution that conducts an election and declares results. As such, INEC has declared Senator Bola Ametinobu as the winner of the election. SDP saying that. Honestly, I look forward to less uh, litigations. Uh, let, uh, let's let's over. First of all, over, let's, over, let's look at the stake of the SDP. No, no, no. The, 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 the SDP actually said that the SDP acknowledged that the election was not perfect. Um, but I listened to, I read a uh, statement, acknowledged that the election was not perfect. I think all of us, I don't think even I knows that the election was, was imperfect. But the SDP said that. It agreed that APC had a match as the winner. The SDP said it was only going to contest the legislative, uh, some of the legislative uh, victories that others won because it believed that some of his, um, uh, some of his candidates were, uh, were rigged out or something like that. So SDP, of course, SDP knows that he is not, he, it was not a strong contender for the presidential uh, for the presidential uh, position, it was not. It was never. It was never one of the three strong parties. However, that is SDP's choice. I mean, if, uh, it, it would be very ridiculous and uh, very ridiculous, risible for SDP to say it's going to um, uh, contest against the the, the 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 result of the election. However, we can't fault people who decided to go to the courts. What we are against are the rhetorics that people are pushing, you know, approbating and reprobating. You've gone to the courts. Everybody knows you've gone to the court. That's the right thing to do. That's the, the decent thing to do in a civilized society. Nobody can fault Labour Party or the PDP for going to the courts. Even if we don't agree with their arguments. Even if we don't agree with their viewpoints, it's, it's our opinion. But we, do, we cannot say that it is wrong for them to go to the court. What we find very, very, very upsetting, solely upsetting, are the rhetorics by some of them, you know, or people who say that, who also who, who make incendiary comments, comments that are capable of overheating the polity, comments that are capable of inviting that anarchy to the country. If you've gone to the court, let the system work. And that is what the sanest, most reasonable people are saying. INEC is the only institution empowered to declare, win, to declare winners of elections. It's not me, it's not you are your. It's not that. It's not Obi. It's not Inubu. It's not. It's no. It's no. It's none other than Heineck. It's not the presidency. So the only way you can invalidate or you can impeach the decision of the Heineck is through the court. That that is the only other institution that is empowered by the law to say Heineck, you are wrong, and Heineck will be wrong. So SDP is fine. That's SDP's opinion, and it's it's fine. SDP has, does not even have any stake, you know. It cannot, cannot, cannot even dare to say that it, it wants to contest the, 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 the outcome of the election. Those who, feel, <laughs> those who feel they won, who believe, who are convinced they won, have gone to the courts. So we'll see how that pans out. Gary? Uh, well, uh, in, a, in a situation where you have uh, uh, somebody who came third in a race, asking to be declared uh, the winner. You cannot uh, conveniently say SDP doesn't have a stake. I, I think they have a very strong stake, uh, the Nigerian way. They could have also gone to court to add to the litigations. I, I, I'm impressed by what SDP has tried to do, and uh, I think it is exemplary. 
There is no political party who goes into any election, be it councillorship, uh, governorship, or presidential, with the intention of losing. Uh, the uh, uh, candidate of the Social Democratic Party, uh, Adewale, yes. went all over the country campaigning. Adewale, Adewale. Adewale, he went, he campaigned more than some of the people we are actually calling the uh, frontliner. And a very sound and intelligent. Very intelligent I met him twice, thrice during his campaign. And, very and I must tell you, sound. Uh, here is somebody who yeah. also has great intentions. Capable. Competent. And uh, why one would not want to blow his trumpet for him? I think oh, he contested I, I that election. I was he contested that election believing that he was going to win. I met him once or twice, and you need to see his optimism. He, and he believed very strongly that he was running on the platform of a very popular political party. And you must give it to his enthusiasm. He ran the race uh, very, very certain that he was going to do well. But it's an election. There will be winners and there will be losers. And what he is simply doing alongside his party is telling you, look, when we lose elections, it must not always end in litigation. He's trying to set this example that there are people who look, after the election... I think, they, I think they want some seats in the national I'm coming Senate. to that. No, they, they have two Senate seats. Mm. For, that's that's more than yeah. some other parties who that's paraded. Strong. That's two Senate strong. seats and about four uh, uh, rep seats. And they have a handful of uh, assembly seats. That's strong. Two Senate In fact, in Nazareth State, they want two seats. They want their two Senate seats in Nazareth State. Not central. Mm. And they are from the uh, southwest. Mm. So that's to tell you that it is not a party without stake. It's a party with stake in the incoming administration. Mm. There are two senators are going to be very, very instrumental should the opposition decide to rock the boat in any of the two houses. There are two senators and uh, House of Reps member are going to play certain roles. So I think we should applaud the SDP for Showing that example that with that decision, they have reduced the number of litigations, the number of time that will have been wasted, the number of resources, the number of judges that will have been stressed, and all that. There are, as I saw, there are 18 political parties in Nigeria that participated in the presidency. I saw one party that I'm sure did not get up to uh, 2,000 votes, also in court, challenging the presidential election. I think at the end of the, the Supreme Court will consolidate. I think they are going to consolidate, but if there are nine cases, it will be more. It will take more time to consolidate than three cases. I have yet to so, see. I so, have yet to see any presidential candidate that will not uh, express some kind of optimism that they will win. Yes, but that still doesn't mean that they should not be realistic after the, uh, after the election. election. What, as far as I'm concerned. What SDP has done is being realistic. And that's something that, we should uh, have heard. Yeah. Being realistic. No, no, I, 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 I agree. Okay. Yes. We have our first caller. I agree. Who is calling us from Nasara State? Yes, okay. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Happy mm -hmm. Easter, sir. Thank you. And, uh, Go ahead, please. Uh, Dale, is it uh, Dale? Uh, good afternoon, afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. And the other person. Uh, Dale, you are looking young, you know, these days, you know, every day. What is the case, sir? Thank you very yeah, much. My name is Hundu. Uh, my name is Hundi. I'm calling from Nasarawa State, uh, the local government. Okay. Yes, you see, the, what you have said is correct because the two ACP people that were, you know, in Nasarawa State here, and unfortunately, they were members of the APC, but there was disagreement that pushed them to SDP. That means they're very they popular. They have been okay. under APC. The yes, they have been very popular. But it was as a result of, you know, disagreement that made them to go to SDP, and they have won. And that shows that the people actually knew who they were. But one thing here is that I'm finding it difficult to believe that politicians, when they lose any election, lawyers will keep pushing them to go to court so that they can keep money to the bank, even when they know the truth. Because I was on ground. I was on ground, and I know that Tinubu did very well. And I'm surprised that some people will not accept that this man has won the election, and that say, you know, you know, that he should be sold in. And I've said many types of things. And I've been saying it that if they conduct this election again, Tinubu will still win. Because, like the person that comes out, Labour Party is not popular in many states that I know. Labour Party is not on ground in many states. So how do you intend to win? And lastly, I hear you. One thing is that Labour Party and PDP, they did not get the mandatory 25% in 25 states. Go and check it. They did not get So how mm -hmm. can you decide the winner? Thank you very much. 
Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your contribution. And, mm -hmm. and when you, we uh, are looking at it, and you want to say that, oh, if this um, politicians are very, very optimistic. They are very optimistic. I, I think so, also some of them, their optimism is just grandstanding, mm -hmm. just to say the truth. There are people who I believe just came out to contest so that it can be in their political CV that they were once presidential, presidential candidates. candidates. There are people like that. Okay, when I saw the we results, just, okay. when, when I saw the results, because it took me days to analyze the presidential election results, mm -hmm. and when I saw it, and I now looked at a man called Rabiu Musa Kokonso. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The way Rabiu Musa Kokonso came into the presidential election, mm -hmm. presidential race, he was meant to form an alliance with uh, Peter Obi, yeah, but that did, it down that, then... that did not work. But... When the result came out, the reality became so clear that this is a man that was in charge of just Kano State. He held on to Kano State and delivered it to himself. You, you, it's you. so reverberating mm. from the Na National Assembly down to the State House of Assembly, yes. and he was able to win the governorship. I, if you, if you recall. But any other states, I did not see the presence. I, 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 yeah, I, 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 if you recall, if you recall, before the election, I said it here that I was talking about NNPP. I was asking that who was the face, the big face of NNPP in the Southwest? Who was the big face of the NNPP in the South South? Who was the big face of NNPP in several other regions? Apart from Kano or Northwest, Jigawa, where it is very strong. And they did now, well. They did well. They did well. They did well. I personally, I might be wrong, but I personally for, think. For Taraba, it was the candidate. He was the APC. They had issues he left for and was able to... Put I, I personally influence. think that the NNPP knew that was not going to win this election. Of course. I, 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 I think that Rabbi Kwakwaso had his own agenda, which he had achieved with Kanu. Rabbi Kwakwaso was going to prove a point with Kanu. Mm. Just I, me, I feel that just I, to get back at Ganduji. Exactly. We may be wrong to say mm -hmm. he's getting back. He's a politician. He was losing grip of the yes. stronghold exactly. and yes. he needed to get it back. Look, NMPP would never have won Kano if Rabiu Musa Kwakwansu was not contesting the presidency. In 2019, they tried the same thing. He was in PDP. He was not a presidential candidate. Mm. They, they, they went into a runoff, almost mm. won, but they never did. Mm. There was need for the galvanization. There was need to galvanize Kano for him. This I mean, person running for governorship the, the same is person, me. The same person. Yes. This is me. Vote for. And he had to be on the ballot. So in the under the guise of I am running for well, president, he, he went would, everywhere in Kano with the candidate. Even no. Senator, um, Senator Shekarau, who declined, that said, that won, declined. He had 400, won the and, 400 and something thousand votes. He won the election in the election. Before the court gave it to Hunger, mm -hmm. he won. Kano that's Central. somebody. Yes, yes, Kano yes, yes. Central. Kano that's somebody. That's who like said. a governorship um, result. Yes, that, that's, that's what we are winning governorship with another state. So what, what I'm trying to say is <laughs> NMPP scale, and that's why you've not had NMPP saying he's going to call for presidential. What they've said is that they are still studying the. They achieved and their they know They, they are not interested goal. in exactly. contesting the presidency. They wanted the governorship of Kano. The National Assembly members that will come from Kano, the House of Assembly in Kano, what can also want to re wanted to return as the political godfather of that state. He was from 1999, only shaking once. 2023, when Shekarau mm. defeated him, Dislodged. stopped his uh, second time ambition, he was dislodged. Shekarau was in charge for eight years, but. Well, but so being the politician he is, was able to stage the comeback. I mean, stage a comeback, win his second term, install a successor in Gandhi, the current governor, who eventually did him in again, mm -hmm. pushed him aside. And from 2015, he's been struggling to reclaim the state. And he must have fantastic strategists at that mm -hmm. time because the only way Kano will have gone. His way is for him to be on the ballot. Exactly. And that's what he did. And it worked perfectly well. So watch out for somebody like Rabbi Musa Khan, because he's a politician, and I know him very well. I can place a, a, a bet that he's not going to 
proved too difficult with the NM NMPP. It's going to go into a merger very soon. Just write it down. He knows that that party will not fly outside his own immediate environment mm, exactly. of Nano Okawa. Okay. So he will do the needful. <laughs>